there is another very important formula to be remembered is that cos theta cos 2 theta cos 2 square theta 2 cube theta this thing goes on till n times so cos 2 to the power n minus 1 theta this is written as sin 2 to the power n theta divided by 2 to the power n sin theta this result we have to remember this result is very very important and we have to remember for our j preparation because sums will come you know they will never give you this kind of sums directly in iitj what they will give you they will give you a problem while you are doing the problem you will get a part where you have to apply this formula otherwise it will take a long time to solve that sum have you understood this so remember this result as a formula now i will prove this one let us take the left hand side now i'm dividing by 2 sin theta so i'm multiplying with 2 sin theta here the other things are outside now 2 sin theta cos theta will give you sin 2 theta i am dividing by 2 again so it is 2 square sin theta that will give you this thing is coming to sin 2 theta this 2 because i have divided by 2 i have multiplied with 2 sin 2 theta cos 2 theta the rest of the things are outside Now, 2 sin 2 theta cos 2 theta will give you sin 2 square theta, right? Because 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta. And taking cos 2 square theta inside, keeping the other terms outside, so we are getting something like this, right? So, here I need a 2, so I am giving a 2 over here and I am dividing by 2. So we are getting what? This thing will give you what? Sin 2 to the power 3 theta. Have you understood this? Cos 2 to the power 3 theta. Cos 2 to the power n minus 1 theta. Is it clear? Now you observe. When it is 2 cube. Sin theta is there. Sin theta is fixed from the beginning only. So 2 cube is there. Here it is sin 2 cube theta cos 2 cube theta. Is it clear? So from here we can write, if this way we proceed, we are going to get, the last term is 2 to the power n minus 1 theta. So we are writing 2 to the power n minus 1 theta, 2 to the power n minus 1 sine theta. So in this case, what we will get? Sine 2 to the power n minus 1 theta, cos 2 to the power n minus 1 theta. Tell me yes or no. Is it clear? Now, if I multiply with 2 over here and again dividing by 2, so what we are getting? We are getting, I am writing it here. So, in the numerator we are getting, in the denominator we are getting 2 to the power n sin theta. And what about this? This is your 2 sin 2 to the power n minus 1 theta cos 2 to the power n minus 1 theta. That is sin 2 theta which will give you nothing but your sin 2 to the power n theta. Therefore, the right hand side we are getting it as sin 2 to the power n theta divided by 2 to the power n sin theta. A very very important result we have to remember. Is it clear? Now, I will take a simple example to illustrate this result. To illustrate this result, I have taken one example like cos pi by 9, cos 2 pi by 9, cos 3 pi by 9, cos 4 pi by 9. Now, in this case, we can observe that cos 3 pi by 9 is basically cos pi by 3. Cos pi by 3 means it's half. So, I am taking the value outside. So, we are left with, for a time being, let us take pi by 9 as alpha. So, what we are getting? Cos alpha, cos 2 alpha, and cos 4 alpha, that is 2 square alpha also we can write. Okay. Now, 
it is what cos alpha cos 2 alpha cos 2 square alpha how many number of terms are there there are three terms so n is nothing but your three so what was the formula just now we have done it is nothing but sine 2 to the power n alpha divided by 2 to the power n sine alpha sine 2 to the power n alpha that is 2 to the power n alpha divided by 2 to the power n sine alpha is it clear or not so what we are getting here half sine 8 alpha divided by 8 sin alpha now 8 alpha can be replaced by look it carefully pi is nothing but 9 alpha so pi minus alpha is nothing but 8 alpha so what we are getting 1 by 16 sin pi minus alpha divided sin alpha so 1 by 16 sin 180 minus theta is sin theta so sin alpha by sin alpha it gets cancelled so your answer is 1 by 16 have you understood the application of this problem i mean the result that just now we have uh, derived so this is the application of those results is it clear to all of you now let us take another example see this problem they have given us alpha is 2 pi by 7 so we have to find out the value of sec alpha plus sec 2 alpha plus sec 4 alpha so let me write it sec alpha sec 2 alpha plus sec 4 alpha so I am converting sec in terms of cos so we are getting now let me take the LCM so we are going to get cos alpha cos 2 alpha cos 4 alpha and in the numerator we are getting cos 2 alpha cos 4 alpha cos alpha cos 4 alpha and cos alpha cos 2 alpha right 2 alpha okay now I will solve the problem in two parts I will find out the value of the denominator what we are getting and we will find out the value of the numerator what we are getting and then we will divide to get the final answer now for the numerator we are having is it clear So if I just divide it by 2 and multiply by 2, so we are getting 2 cos 2 alpha cos 4 alpha. That is 2 cos A cos B formula I am applying. Cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Again for this one also 2 cos A cos B. Cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Similarly for this one. Cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. Is it clear? So what we are getting now? half you see we are having 7 alpha is 2 pi look it carefully 7 alpha is 2 pi now what your cos 6 alpha be written as 6 alpha can be written as 2 pi minus alpha cos 2 pi minus alpha will give you cos alpha cos alpha plus cos alpha will give you 2 cos alpha is it clear now we are having here cos 3 alpha cos 3 alpha that is 2 cos 3 alpha and we are having cos 5 alpha cos 2 alpha now look at carefully 5 alpha can be written as what 5 alpha from here can be written as 2 pi minus 2 alpha so cos 2 pi minus 2 alpha will give you cos 2 alpha which will give you is it clear now let me just take two common two outside so what we are going to get cos alpha cos 2 alpha cos 3 alpha is it clear now this can be you know your that cosine series i'm writing it as cos alpha cos alpha plus alpha plus cos alpha plus 2 alpha am i correct so here your beta is nothing but your alpha so what we can write here 
sin n, n is three terms are there, so n is three over here. So n beta by two divided by sin beta by two into cos the first angle plus the last angle divided by two, which will give you two alpha, isn't it? Have you understood this? Because this is your three alpha plus alpha four alpha divided by two will give you cos two alpha. So what we are getting? We are getting sin three alpha by two cos two alpha by sin 3 alpha by 2 cos 2 alpha divided by sin alpha by 2 is it clear now you see 3 alpha by 2 can be written as sin alpha is 2 pi by 7 so 3 alpha by 2 can be written as sin 3 pi by 7 cos 2 alpha can be written as cos 4 pi by 7 divided by we are having sin alpha by 2 which is nothing but your sin pi by 7 is it clear have you understood this okay now let me just wrap this portion so we are getting what I am multiplying numerator and denominator with 2 so in the numerator just apply to sin a cos b formula that will give you sin a plus b sin a plus b plus sin a minus b divided by 2 sin pi by 7 sin pi is 180 degree sin 180 degree is 0 and here it is coming to minus of because sine of minus theta is minus sine theta sine pi by 7 sine pi by 7 goes off so we are left with minus half therefore your numerator is reduced to minus half is it clear have you understood till this now let us take the denominator part what is our denominator we are having cos alpha cos 2 alpha cos 4 alpha right so this can be written as what this is our that previous formula it's 2 square alpha so what we can write here sine 2 to the power n alpha divided by 2 to the power n sine alpha right so we are getting sine 8 alpha by 8 sine alpha 8 alpha 7 alpha is 2 pi so 8 alpha will give you what sine 2 pi plus alpha right divided by 8 sin alpha so we are getting what sin alpha by 8 sin alpha which is nothing but your 1 by 8 is it clear so the denominator we got it as 1 by 8 the numerator we got it as minus half therefore the required value of the given expression will be minus half divided by 1 by 8 which will give you nothing but your minus 4 is it clear therefore the required value of sec alpha plus sec 2 alpha plus sec 4 alpha is nothing but minus 4 have you understood this now let us take another problem based on this